Homely though, only want the pony yeah, show. When we back to backing, she ain't got no feelings, so it's back to acting. Shorty ain't an actress, so it's back to clashing. All right, today I'm gonna show everyone how to make a lo-fi beat. Uh, if you're wondering why you should listen to me and like why I'm someone you should be taking advice from how to make lo-fi beats, is because I just dropped my lo-fi album. It dropped last Thursday on the 14th. And uh, it's 30 lo-fi lo beats. They all hit. They're all good beats. I think you'd like them all if you're a fan of lo-fi. I'd really appreciate you uh, check them out. Uh, I'll have two links in the description. One to the YouTube video. It's an hour and a half long. And then I'll have a uh, another link that will bring it up on all streaming services. You just pick which service you use. And you can get it on there. All, indiv all the individual ones. So yeah, let's get into this. Alright, today I'm going to make a lo-fi beat. I'm gonna use a guitar. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna do it in a major scale. I'm gonna do E major. Because why not? And yeah, now we're just gonna make a melody. strum these chords in. just do all s it makes me sound more realistic i'm just going to do all r to randomize the velocities and then we're going to bring these down a little bit The melody. We'll get into some drums now. not completely done yet but basically I'm gonna break down using this little beat I made I'm gonna break down the important pieces of lo-fi and how you can make your own lo-fi beats and what elements you need in your beats will make them lo-fi beats and just I'm gonna give you some tips to help you out when you're making your own lo-fi beats first thing I'm gonna tell you is that just like making trap beats if that's what you do before or 
rap beats like the beats I'm normally used to making, and maybe that's some of you were used to making, is that the drums are still the easier part of the process. It's like even on this beat, melody doesn't have like too much going on, but to make a good sounding melody, it's definitely a lot harder than making good sounding drums. You can literally do lo-fi drums in 45 seconds if you move fast enough, and if you had all your sounds preloaded in, you could literally do lo-fi drums in 45 seconds, and they'd sound good. So, if you don't, if you aren't too good at melodies right away, it's the same thing I said with trap beats. Like, don't worry about it. You just gotta practice doing it, and you'll get better. If you're really struggling to make like, lo-fi melodies, but you want to just make lo-fi beats for practice and just like get a vibe of them. Uh, splices are good. Splice has a lot of loops that are like lo-fi loops, and they got lo-fi kits specifically on there. So if you just go into like some of the melodies I have, some of the ones that I use, and you find one like this melody. Like they got a lot of good melodies and even drum kits that I downloaded from there that uh, are good for making lo-fi beats to start out with. So like I get all my drums from drum kits off there. So like Splice is a good place to start if you have a membership or even if you don't you want to get one. Splice is a good place to start for making lo-fi. Next thing I'm going to say to help you out is you got to listen to a lot of lo-fi beats themselves so you really know like what you're getting into and like I guess for inspiration because you know, if you never really, if you never listen to the drama before, you're not going to know how to make beats for it. So I'm not saying just like rip lo-fi beats you hear and just try to recreate them. But I mean, you could do that for practice as long as you're not putting them out and claiming it as original work. If you try to like remake some lo-fi beats you hear from ear, that, that's like not a bad idea to practice. But like you got to listen to a lot of lo-fi beats or you're not going to know the right vibe that you need to be going after. The next thing is that there's one plugin you're going to need that's going to really help you out a lot. And the good news is that plugin's free, so you don't gotta worry about spending money if you're like, I'm broke, but I wanna make lo-fi beats. You don't gotta worry about that. Because this plugin right here, Isotope Vinyl, is completely free. And I've used it on every lo-fi beat I've ever made. So here's what my guitar sounds like without it. And then I put it on. So to get that sound, what I do is I take this knob right here that says year. It'll normally be up at 2000, bring it down to 1930. I make it sound as old as possible. And then I bring the warp depth and the wear up just a little bit. I don't bring like any of these other ones up that just make noise because I like to put those effects in myself. It's not as noticeable on instruments like flutes and stuff, but like on pianos and guitars is one that, you know, like I really be noticing it the most. It really has the best effect on giving you that, like the vintage sample feel to your melodies so you know isotope vinyl definitely a big key free plugin you gotta download if you're making lo-fi beats the next two things i'm gonna say they go together so first is that with the bpms i'd say a little more than like more often than not you're gonna be in a slower bpm anyway that could be anywhere from even like six as slow as 60 to like 110 maybe or just 100 but like that doesn't mean you can't make a faster lo-fi beat like the, the what i always say is like to really know if you made a lo-fi beat once you're done to know if it's a good beat is just to like sit back and play the beat and just listen to the beat for like two minutes straight like what you got to arrange and everything and if you feel like it's a beat you can just chill to and vibe to then like chances are like you made a good lo-fi beat and you're good if it sounds good and you can just chill and vibe to it you're good it doesn't really matter what the bpm is as long as like you don't want to go too, too fast to the point where, like, it's more like you can't chill to it because it's just so fast and it sounds, like, crazy going on. But as long as you can chill to your beat and you catch a good vibe from it, and chances are you made a good lo-fi beat. The other thing I'm going to say is when you're making your melodies and the sounds you choose, you don't want to sound something too harsh, like with, like, a crazy high velocity or something that just sounds, like, too hard or something that, like, almost hurts your ears. Like, it's something that's, like, an ear-piercing type of noise. So like for example, you'll see in my flute, one, brought the velocities down on it. You don't want the velocities way up. And two, is if you got a, the guitar, I didn't have to do it because it's a lot of lower sounds in the guitar, but the flute is a higher pitched instrument. It's got a lot of higher frequencies. 
So I can see my IQ, I cut a lot of high out. So I just would go default and I play it. See, it's got some high frequency. So like, you don't want something harsh that sounds like this. Something's gonna hurt your ears. So that's why I like to cut some of the high out. So if you do that, if you cut the high end out, isotope vinyl, cut the high end out, lower velocities. That's how you can avoid having harsh sounds that are really just gonna like take the chill vibe out of your lo-fi beats. But the last thing I'm gonna say is that since these are lo-fi beats you're making, these probably aren't gonna be wrapped on by an artist. Like these are just for like the lo-fi chill vibe. They're just meant to be listened to by themselves like with no vocals on, with no artist like making a song to them. So for that reason, you can make the beat a lot more complex. Like with rap beats and trap beats, I'm always like, make it simple, give the artist room. But you don't have an artist to worry about when you're doing lo-fi beats, so you don't gotta worry about that. So like right here, I only got five drum sounds. You can use a lot more than five drum sounds. I didn't make the drums too crazy on this, just for the sake of the video. But like, you can go crazy with the drums. Obviously not too crazy where it's not chill, but like you can use a lot of different drum sounds, bring drums in, drums out, like throughout the arrangement of your beat. Cause you don't have to worry about giving the artist room like all this all, instead of having to share the space of the song with the artist 50 50 now it's 100 percent you and your lo-fi beat you're 100 percent of the song so you don't have to worry about getting in anyone's way so you can go crazy with the drums and add in as many sounds as you want another thing you can do is you can add vocal effects so like another splice again is another great place to get vocal effects like you can just get something like this Like just adding in vocals, that's something extra you can do to like make the beat interesting. Or even if you don't want to get these crazy vocals, you can do like some spoken word, just like where it's not even like singing, where it's just like this. Kept asking me about a girl. What girl? Her name was Alicia. Who's she? So if you just, you can add those in, and if you're gonna do those, or even with the vocals, I would say definitely put isotope vinyl on those too and do the same preset I talked about. And, and maybe slow those down too to like match the vibe of your songs so like they don't sound out of place so yeah that's really everything i got to say about making lo-fi beats again uh check out my lo-fi album i just released it's called hello world uh there'll be a link to there'll be two links in the description one for the youtube version and then one that'll you can stream it on any platform it's on spotify apple music it's on every platform so i'll have two links to in the description uh if you check it out let me know what you think about it I also got every beat that's on the album uploaded individually to YouTube if you want to listen to them by himself. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.